pretend the, ca the camera is just another face listening uh, and continue the conversation because um, that's the only way I can really do this. Okay. Okay. Alright. So there I was, right? And we were walking down this hill and we got to the bottom. And we saved the baby. Saved the baby? Yeah. Baby what? Baby elk or baby... This is an ant. Had a good every, eye, he saw it. Yeah, yeah, every With that matters. magnifying glass that you let him borrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That is inspirational. Actually, technically, you can actually make fire out of ice. That's water water water. Yeah, that's, I was seeing that on um, The King of Random. Yeah, the, that guy. He, he came out here with a block of ice and started a forest fire. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be crazy. <laughs> I just want to see if it's possible, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the block of ice did it, not me. <laughs> like, exactly. Set it down or something. <laughs> Assignment almost almost out there. I guess Ryan over here doing, doing what he does. So you're gonna use you're gonna use that thing, huh? Yep. You like those? The cloud's pretty nice. Yeah. I've never used one. It's good for uh, brush. I heard it. everybody else. <laughs> yeah. Time to shine. He's gonna put us on cut in line, though. That's that's what he said. Yeah. yeah. And we got like three crews. We got us, North Pacific, and Weta. Yeah. So like we, if we're cutting line, like it's a different, little bit different situation because we're not hooking a fire right, you know, direct on a fire where we gotta move fast. So. But, you know, there's three crews rolling through there, so, you know, you don't have to do the whole thing yourself. So, 
uh, you know, just a couple swipes, a couple good swipes, and move is, is probably going to be good. So, you know, because we got 60 people coming on that little stretch of line. So, you know, and then just really important, watch it like it's kind of easier. You know, both ends, the axe ends and the pick, the pick end. You know, if you got a sharp tool, I mean, one swipe and you probably got it. Guys. Okay. You guys look like a bunch of professionals. Yeah, you get one of these in every, almost every video. <laughs> I, I never get to be in this uh, shot here because I'm always the guy holding the camera. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Give you guys a chance to pose. I'm a poser. <laughs>
from where I was, you were you were pretty much right in the thick of, of where this thing of where this thing burned over. Right, I was about I was about the top when the flames came up. I was at like tree height. Right, and and and, uh, and when it started, did you feel heat before it actually came over? No, it wasn't warm up there, but we saw exactly what was going on, and it was burning it was burning up the trees, and then it pretty much just exploded. But from what I could see, it went interior and then came right back at us. Um. The so, winds changed. The winds changed. The winds were swirling around already because when we were up in the woods, mm-hmm. when we were up in the woods, the, well, the smoke was causing the well. The, the smoke was going well, in, yeah, yeah, and then they started coming out, and we started getting some fallout. It was mostly just ash, not like hot embers, but that were coming over. And even you remember, it was right behind you, like right behind Richard's foot, within the first maybe hundred feet when they were burning out. There was a very small spot. Yeah. That started down. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's like a microcosm of what was going to happen. Yeah. The winds were starting to yeah. swirl and. Where it, where it blew up at, it got into the crown first, and then it blew right across the road. So would you say it was the, uh, the unpredictable winds, the gust, that, that was a, a, a key factor? It was the winds caused by... It was the winds the, caused by the, the fire. Blow up it was, that it was, the, it was the, a the draw, didn't, it was the, the winds out. created by the draw. Yeah. Yeah. If the fire was kept out of the crown, yeah. initially, it may have been prevented. But the way it happened, it got into the crown, and after that, it's all history. Mm-hmm. You know, that makes sense because they were only lighting right on the road. Yeah, yeah they were lighting within they weren't the very first year. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even... I just remember, from from my perspective, I saw... Uh, uh, Flame links that were twice the size of the of the tree heights. No, it went and up really fast. Yeah. Oh, it went up fast, and yeah. that there was a clump of trees. Right no, there. yeah, Chewie and I were way up there, and when I saw those flames, I was like, "That's coming across the road." There was no doubt. My my my, uh, my first concern was those guys at Chewie and you, because I, last I saw you guys when I, when I patrolled the area, you guys were up there a little ways, and it looked like Chewie was trying to go a little higher. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Dude, yeah. We were right on. It was, just, it was yeah. unbelievable. We, we, was there. There. Yeah. we were. We were. Yeah. I was there. there was an old dozer road. Yeah, that area, that area, that area had burned previously. There was char in there. That area had burned previously, and we were on like an old containment line, an old dozer line, probably, or a logging line or something like that. But it was an old road up there. Uh-huh. Oh, there was. And okay. So we were on a nice level spot, and we were watching. And as the fire was going down, I was in the lead. I was on the top where they were lighting, and Chewie was maybe you know. 50 to 60 feet behind me, and right where it blew up, basically. It wasn't above us, but by the time right we got down to the, the side, road, the fire you know, was where we were. So if we hadn't moved, well, it, we would have been under the fire. Right away, you, you would say you probably had about maybe, yeah, what, a minute? 30, yeah. to I, I was, 30 uh, seconds to a minute to get so. down to the road. And by the time we were down there, it was starting to move down the road, and it was blowing up. I was standing there first, it came over, I was like, oh man, it's going to torch, and then the wind So So you basically, you were basically... Decided to go no, off the to the same direction yeah, yeah, yeah. where the fire basically started going the same direction. You I it's, was running in the same direction as the fire yeah. and downhill yeah. and to the road to get out of there. Yeah. Yeah. At one point, did you think about well, which, which way do I go? Well, the engine crews, the engine crews below us were starting to yell, you know, just move, move, move. Yeah. We were way above it, so we weren't having to move as fast as we needed to be. But when I saw the flames going as high as they were, I pretty much knew it was going across the trap. When we first went up in there. They're not telling you what I was, doing you know, like trying to decide, you know, what is, what's, right on the road, like, what's the worst the that can happen when we're up here? I'm looking around, the ground, the ground, the ground it was a watch out, it was a watch out situation because you were, you had yeah, fire below you. Yeah. Fire, fire yeah. below us, yeah, and the ground feels were light, it was mostly pine trees and stuff like that. There was, uh, there was a lot of, uh, dead, you know, heavy, heavy, heavy fuel loads down, but those weren't really concerned. And honestly, if it had just come across oh, yeah, onto the yeah, ground, we would have we would have snagged it right away. I mean, yeah, but it went into the there, ground, there and that was the only thing right. I was worried about was it getting in the trees. It got into the trees. The fucking fire was there. It was down on the bottom of the valley, but it was yeah, there. It, it was below us. Too. Because you guys, you guys actually tracked all the way to the uh, uh, the way to DP90. Walk. And about halfway there is when we kind of got out of it because it kind of turned off. Yeah. So, 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 so for a good, uh, it fi- got stuck. It got stuck in a draw. For a good 15 minutes or so, you guys were just ahead of the fire. Wing? Well, you know the dozer line that we mopped or mopped. Mm-hmm. That line wasn't there that night. They put that dozer line that went down to 77 in that night. That was not there oh, okay. before that. That probably helped you out a bit, didn't it? That uh, you know, maybe I don't know if they put that and in before or after we passed they put that. It down but yeah, and then they, they started burning it. out. That dozer line was not there before that. Before that, that dozer line went from the 77 D spur all the way to DP90, which it showed on the map afterwards. Mm-hmm. But they put the cut in right there at the pumpkins after we fucking went through there. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's that's, why, that's why you guys are so worried about us, because uh, what you were going through, you thought maybe it was... Yeah, it was the fire.